Mostly good, but check out these balance lead connections. Looks like they have strips of nickel and then they solder to it. And then they put epoxy on top of that. That is a very strange way to do it. These budget batteries need to have ring terminal temp sensors, not these glued on ones. These are a little flimsy and it's held on with a zip tie. If you were to accidentally flip this battery upside down, all you have holding this in here are obviously the bus bars holding the cells together and then this piece of plastic right here and then two zip ties, I don't like that. Now usually you have a power resistor as a shunt, but this one has a Hall effect sensor. And if this is calibrated correctly, these are perfectly fine, but you never see them on these server rack batteries. So we're gonna do something stupid. We're gonna charge it with over 100 amps. All my other chargers are taken, so we're gonna connect this in parallel with an eco-worthy battery. And hopefully we'll trigger a protection state. Because this BMS does not have an inductor like the other ones. It probably cannot regulate current. It's either on or off. With the other ones, it can regulate it down to 10 amps so it can charge slowly if it connects to batteries with a different state of charge. But I don't think this one has this feature. And this is the only one I've found that doesn't. So let's see if it does. Full battery, empty battery. Let's see what happens. Whew, 250 amps, but it caught it. It shut it down. There's no converter circuit. I've never seen this BMS before. It's made by Lithium Valley. It doesn't even look familiar to me. And look at that, we got an alarm. So the EcoWorthy caught it first. So yeah, it doesn't have that feature. What a bummer. Oh yeah, look at that. See this metal bars going across the cells not these flimsy pieces of plastic. Their 12 volt batteries have good build quality. I was expecting better from Watt Cycle. Okay, this is a BMS I've seen a billion times and it has the inductor, there we go. And I like the app, it does work well, but something it's missing is amp hours. It only shows a percentage. Also, you can click on voltage, but you can't click on amps and you can't click on watts. Maybe just have these cell voltages down below this instead of having some random button. It looks the same as everything else, but it did work. It does connect every single time and I like that. Now going by build quality, I think everybody would choose the eco-worthy. Having this cheap flimsy plastic versus this huge steel bar. Also, these bus bars are thick and we have ring terminals, no solder. I do not like having solder on bus bars. I've seen some budget batteries do this and this is not the way to do it. Next, I don't know this BMS. I've never seen it before, but this one is in all of them. But both batteries do not have ring terminal temp sensors, which is unfortunate. I told both of them to do this, so hopefully that will happen soon. But the organization in the watt cycle is better. I like these leads. They're nice and short. Over here, they're ridiculously long, so they need to fix that. For the money, the EcoWorthy will have more features. Next, Next, the capacity test results were better with the EcoWorthy. I got 105 at 0.2C rate and 105 at a 1C rate, which is incredible. This one tested better than anything else out there, even the more expensive ones. The watt cycle at a 0.2C did 102.3, then 102.7, not remarkable. But watt cycle did give me their data for all of their packs and what they test at, and most of them are about 103.5. And most companies do not do this. I'm trying to get a company right now to send a cell data Data sheet and they won't so it's nice watt cycle listens i'm sure they're going to come out with a better battery after this video and this eco worthy is insane for the money like these cell holders are so thick this has the same components as the much more expensive ones next the eco worthy and most of the others have very thick sturdy server racks this one stacks on top of each other with these i've never been a very big fan of these technically it takes up less space but if one of your batteries goes bad you have to unstack the whole thing if you have a server rack you can just slide a bad battery out obviously it's very rare for these to fail but when it does happen which i just had a ruksu battery fail i slid it out in a couple seconds I didn't have to rebuild or take apart my whole system. And the last company that had these, their server rack batteries were awful. So I'm not gonna point out any names, but you can find it on my old videos. Technically, these should be great though, because they take up a lot less space. So yeah, some people like these. I personally don't. 
I like my battery protected in a metal box so nothing can touch it. All the terminals are protected and you have large bus bars with equal length conductors. Also, they should have two terminals like all the others. This one only has one. But they're using a DC rated circuit breaker, which is good. If they drop the price of these, they might be worth it. But how it is right now at the same price as this, I would not get it. I would get the Eco Worthy or a Vatier. So I got pretty excited, but not very impressed, unfortunately. So thank you so much for watching this video and I I will see you in the next one. Bye.